Now let's work on another example. So let's say this is A, B, C, and D. And you're given that BD is perpendicular to AC. And also B is the midpoint of AC. So your task is to prove that AD is congruent to CD. So feel free to pause the video if you want to try this problem. So prove it using a two column proof. So let's start with number one. So we're given that BD is perpendicular to AC. And let's write given. So what conclusions can we draw from that statement? If BD is perpendicular to AC, what do we know? Perpendicular lines form right angles. So that means that ABD is a right angle and DBC is a right angle. So we can make another statement. We can say that angle ABD is congruent to angle CBD. And the reason for that, perpendicular lines form right angles. Now what else can we say? Well we have another given statement and that is that B is the midpoint of segment AC. And so that's given. Now what conclusions can we draw from that given statement? If B is the midpoint of AC, what do we know? Well, if B is the midpoint, that means AB is congruent to BC. They have to be of the same length. And the reason for that is definition of a midpoint. Now, what else can we say? What else do we need to prove that the two triangles are congruent? Now notice that triangles ABD and CBD share a common side, and that side is BD. So we could say that BD is congruent to itself according to the reflexive property. Now we can prove that the two triangles are congruent. So we can say that triangle ABD is congruent to triangle CBD. And the reason for that, we have a side, an angle, and a side. So it's the side angle side postulate. And to prove it, we've used statements 2, 4, and 5. Now once you prove that the two triangles are congruent, the last step is going to have this statement, the statement that you're trying to prove, that AD is congruent to CD. And all you got to say is CPCTC. That's the reason. Corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. And then this problem is done. That's it.